Hey guys, welcome to Ayana's DIY Corner where I share with you guys DIY tips and tricks to spice up that closet or even give your home a really new funky look. Now in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a quick and easy way you can add pockets to those pieces of clothing you may have that did not come with any. Now for instance, when I created this cute little mini dress out of an oversized men's shirt by simply adding a drawstring you can check out that video <laughs> I forgot to add pockets and because of that I have never really worn this dress out anyway I'm gonna help you guys out and show you a quick easy way to add those pockets let's go before I jump into the tutorial I should have shared one in Important trick with you guys when it comes to creating these pockets before you start the project put the piece on the reason for this is that you want an idea where exactly you want your pocket to start so when you have your piece on what you want to do is pretend you have a pocket there and just gauge the height in which you are entering that imaginary pocket at. Just like what you see I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, so when you have that piece on, pretend you have some pockets that you're going into. And what you wanna do, when you've identified the height at which your hand is going to be entering that pocket from, simply take a marker or a chalk if you have one and mark that height so okay so you have your piece on and you're coming into your pocket from this height simply mark that off take your marker and put or chalk and just put a mark right there this gauges where you're gonna start your pocket on your piece so you're gonna be entering from that height that's the comfortable height you want to enter your pocket from if you don't do that you'll have to go into a lot of math to get that area you want to place the pocket at so that kind of helps eliminate that whole process so again try your put your piece on pretend you have those pockets there already and take your hand as if you're about to enter that pocket area and that height that you are comfortable with entering a pocket just mark that off on your clothing take it off and then you can get started with your project now an easy way to reflect that marking onto the other side is to simply fold that piece of clothing in half make sure that it is laid out nice and even throughout that you have it centered and everything is flushed and even and simply mirror that marking onto the other side of your clothing now because I know that I have to create my pocket right under the drawstring area, that was why I forgot <laughs> to mention that pretty important trick, <laughs> that tip. So let's get started. Now I'm going to start my pocket about one, about half, let me see, let me just take my measuring tape. And I'm going to go one inch away from the drawstring area for my pocket. So I'm just gonna mark that off. And I love to make sure that my pocket is six inches wide, which is just enough room for my hand to go in there nice and comfortable. So what I'm gonna do is place my measuring tape right by that marking. And I'm going to go down six inches. So I'm just gonna mark that six inch off there. All right, so that's my six inch mark. So from here to here is my pocket. See how nice and wide that is? It gives you enough space 
to get that hand in there nice and comfortable and you can even place your cell phone in there with so much ease and room all right now if the piece of clothing you're using does not have a seam because some clothing come like that it doesn't have uh, side seams it actually probably may have just a back seam because that's where they joined the piece of clothing from what you can do is identify those side seams and you can identify those side seams pretty easy again you can identify it by probably folding your piece of clothing in half making sure everything is laid out nice and flat and once you have everything nice and even you're gonna see where your side seams would have been uh, on your garment right once you do that you just leave your garments closed and you measure your six inches like that all right it helps a lot just gonna turn this inside out and again because I use the marker I can identify where my six where my six <laughs> six inch mark is right from here to here so I'm gonna seam rip from this point to this point this tip is for the viewers who are using garments that do not have side seams and you are creating a pocket opening for your pockets what you will do is work on the right side and you're going to to make it easy for you to cut a nice straight line because you want a straight line you don't want it blend sand or, or zigzaggy you want a nice straight line so what you want to do to make it easy for yourself you always want to make things easy when you're doing your little DIYs what you want to do is simply take your measuring tape take your marker or your chalk and just draw a nice straight line from point A to point B and once you've created that straight line what you could do is just create a snip by point A snip and then you once you get your scissor blade into that snip you made you just follow the line and cut along the line you drew up to point B and that is your opening for your pockets. Viewers that are using garments with side seams, go ahead and seam rip open from point A to point B. And we're going to come back and get into the pockets. It's going to be my pocket sack. Now, if you have nothing lying around, I would just recommend to go out and get yourself a yard in some sort of cotton fabric. You can get a solid color, a color that is close enough to the garment you're placing pockets on. If you want to stick with whatever color theme that that garment is in, you can go ahead and do that. If your garment does not have a color theme, keep it neutral either something white a piece of white fabric or a piece of that cotton brown fabric it's a kind of light brown you can use that and create your pocket sacks all right and i'm saying to buy a yard because you can never tell after creating your first set of pockets you may start to look for clothing that doesn't have pockets and start placing pockets so having a yard of material in your crafting toolkit is a plus thumbs up to that so let's go so the first thing i'm going to do is fold my fabric in half and i'm doing this right side facing right side all right right side facing right side i'm going to take my measuring tape And right where my hand is here, I have to, right, so my hand is facing this way. I'm going to start off with my left hand 
and what I'm going to do because the pocket opening is six inches wide I'm going to draw a six inch line right with this six inch line that I just drew I'm gonna place my hand and I'm going to have like right here I'm gonna start with my hand over that six inch line and I'm going to start at the points okay and I'm going to draw a pouch around my hand and I'm going to start from point A and I'm gonna go all the way around and I'm going to go to point B and I'm just gonna write left this is my left hand so this is actually going to go on the left side of my dress I'm gonna go again take my measuring tape and I'm gonna go away from this a bit so that I can get to draw my hand out proper and again I'm going to draw a six inch line and <laughs> I am right-handed so to draw this I'm gonna get a little a little it's not gonna be as nice and neat as my left but I'm gonna try so I always like to fan out my fingers like how you saw I fan out my fingers here yeah? fan out your fingers don't leave them like this and draw around that because what happens is you're gonna make a very small pocket and yes your hand could go into it but you're not gonna be able to fan out your fingers in there and it's just going to be a tight fit you don't want that so again place your hand Make sure it crosses over that six inch line. Kind of make sure it's centered. Fan out your finger. You don't need to like that. Just fan it out a bit. And then start from point A. Go around. As I said, this is going to be a bit off because I am not left handed. Kudos to those that can write with both left and right hands. I don't have that. I don't, I, <laughs> look at that. This is so wrong. Okay, okay. Here I go. And I'm making sure I go all the way up down to point B. Alright? And this is my right hand. Okay? So there we go. This is my right. This is my left. Now, I know they don't <laughs> look identical in size but again that is because <laughs> I'm not good with drawing with my left hand so it's a bit off most important is that I have a gauge to work with once you have the pieces cut out just to make sure everything stays in place I'm just gonna take a, a pin and a straight pin and pin that in place there we go and I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut this out and here it is my left and my right pocket socks and because I wrote left and right I know which pockets is for the left side of my dress and which pocket sock is for the right side of my dress make sure and mark it guys because you don't want to end up putting your right pocket sock on your left side or your left pocket sock on your right side because it's gonna feel pretty funny when you're putting in your hands because if you notice this little humped area is on opposite sides as you can see it's on opposite sides so you don't want to feel uncomfortable putting your right hand into your right pocket and 
it's feeling funny because you have your left pocket sock on the right side. Okay, so let's attach these puppies. Facing it to me so that I can easily identify my left side and my right side. And for this, okay, so as you can see, I seam ripped open my pocket area on both sides. And for the viewers, again, that didn't have any seams, you should have a nice cut open slit directly on the sides of your garment. All right. For this, everyone needs to work on the right side of their garments because it's time to attach the pocket sacks. Get yourself your pins and let's go. So for this, what you want to do, I'm going to work with the right side first because, well, my right side is closest to me right now. So what you want to do is take right side of your pocket sack and face it right side to your garment. So I'm doing right side facing right side with my dress right side facing my pocket right side. And you're going to line up your edges and because your pocket opening and your pocket sack is the same six inches in length so let me show you that it matches six inches six inches as you can see right here lines up perfectly okay so you just want to take that and take your pins now normally I use my crafting clips for these but I like using the pins because it gives me a better guide nothing shifts while stitching too much all right so you're just gonna take your pins and you're gonna pin one side of your pocket sack into place once you added that you add the other side so you just go on the other side of the pocket opening And again, you add your pocket. After you have pinned your pocket pieces into place on both sides, you're gonna go to your sewing machine, go about half inch away from the edge, do a nice straight stitch on both sides. And the next thing you wanna do is to do a nice top flat stitch on the outside because this is how it's gonna look when you attach the pocket piece to the, the garment and you just do a nice top flat stitch it lays the pocket down flawlessly it looks like the pocket was always part of your garment when you do that nice top stitch flawless here's the pocket sack pieces attached as you can see I created that nice top flat stitch so it has it looking all laid and professional. I did it on both sides so now it's time for us to finish all of the pockets. What you want to do is pull the pocket pieces onto the wrong side. It's time for us to work on the wrong side of the garments now. And what you want to do is just make sure that you are lining up your pocket pieces. Everything is lined up properly. Take a pin and just pin it in place so that when you have to run the stitch, nothing shifts out of place. It's time to run your stitch and sew your pocket in place. To do that, you're going to start from one end of your pocket and then you're going to just go all the way around this pocket piece until you reach to the other end. Starting from the top right where you see in your pocket is still opened a bit more than the sack and you can just stitch down go all the way around come up and then go down a bit and just make sure you are closing and sealing that pocket off so there's no extra opening or holes 
on the outside of the pocket so I'm gonna go to my machine right now and I'm going to sew my pocket shut and create that pocket sack and here it is I went in also with a nice zigzag stitch to really reinforce the pocket and make it strong now let's take a look just gonna fold my dress and here is the pocket right on the side it's like a nice invisible side pocket and then you can just oops where's my hand oh there it is side pocket complete quick and easy so guys until next time this is